everyone, thank you for joining today. Today I'm gonna to be sharing how you can maximize your productivity by building your personal ClickUp organization system. So the cat's out of the bag. You're gonna learn how systems affect project management tools, the steps to build your own, some tips to integrate ClickUp into your system, and I'll also share a worksheet that will help you find the best system for your work experience. But first, a little about myself. I've been in project management for seven years, and I truly love organizing the chaos that is marketing and advertising, though recently I found a passion for implementing project management tools and designing processes that improve my coworkers' productivity systems for a better work-life balance. I've had the opportunity to work with many different tools, and ClickUp easily became my favorite one to use. On a personal level, cats are my brand, so you're going to notice quite a few kitty cameos throughout this presentation. I currently work at Signal Theory as a senior project manager, and Signal Theory is a brand development, marketing, and design firm that is working to make advertising human again by connecting people with joy, comfort, and meaning. And that's not just exclusive to our clients, as we also take this approach with our employees. Over the years, we've had tried multiple different tools to organize our workload for better collaboration. The constant switching of these platforms brought on change fatigue and employee resistance, and we were kind of struggling with the adoption of our previous platform, and we also just couldn't keep up with the maintenance required to keep it running. So we started 2022 by taking a step back to recognize the human motivations and decipher why our employees just didn't want to use it. Ultimately, we decided we didn't want to stick with something that wasn't going to work with us long term. Luckily, we found ClickUp and moved forward with a best in class approach. And let me tell you, we did a lot of research and trials to make sure this was the platform for us. And ClickUp gets our gold star of approval because it fosters collaboration and creativity while still being user friendly. While we searched for a platform, we made it a point to satisfy the project manager's needs. And I know we're quite a picky bunch, but we also needed flexibility at an individual level to give our employees a system that was more personal and efficient, which means we can do great work. That's where building your own organizational system comes in handy. So what is an organization system versus a project management tool? A system is really a set of rules or guidelines, even a process you follow to manage the many different communications you receive daily, whether they're personal to-dos or work-related. Whereas a tool like ClickUp helps you organize all the emails, chats, desktop notifications, calls, etc., into the manageable bite-sized pieces for better time management and productivity. There's so many benefits to utilizing a system that you build for yourself, and these include helping you create a routine that automates your workflow, which leads to a more productive schedule. They also simplify your to-dos into more manageable action items so you don't feel overwhelmed easily. And you're gonna become more adaptable and accountable when things change or don't go to plan, giving you a more flexible work life. You'll also be more focused and can take control of your priorities. And lastly, Probably most importantly, you're going to see positive growth and feel more accomplished when you take on challenging tasks. It's pretty important to note that organization or productivity systems are not one size fits all. There are many different ways to complete a task and not everyone thinks the same, so you want to make sure you find the right fit for how your brain works. There are just hundreds of methods out there to increase your productivity, and I'm only sharing a sample of the most popular methods today, but there are so many more you can look up to find your match and take a more personalized approach. The Getting Things Done method was established in 2001 by author David Allen. This is a pretty logical task management system based on five principles. Capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. You begin with smaller, more manageable tasks and ladder up to larger goals to gain momentum. Task batching helps you to stop code switching by grouping similar tasks together to minimize distractions. And Eat the Frog, my personal favorite, you get the most difficult task done as soon as possible, making sure the most stressful item is off your plate for better focus. And now with time blocking, you break your tasks down into work sessions and schedule a specific amount of time to complete them. This helps you plan and work faster. And when using the most important task methods, you prioritize tasks that need to be complete today or this week. These are usually tasks with a deadline. And while these methods are proven to increase productivity, they can be pretty standard and might feel like you're fitting yourself into a box. 
With those methods in mind, you can use the system to build your own personalized organization for productivity. And now I'm going to illustrate how I went through the process and created my own guidelines. While I go through each step, start thinking of your own specific areas for productivity improvement. The first step is to review your triggers. Triggers are anything that can stop or block you from completing a task. My triggers tend to stem from being a visual learner. I have trouble remembering a task when it's out of sight. For example, if someone comes up to me, tells me a task, and I don't write it down, I'm probably going to forget it. I also struggle with chat messages versus emails or click up notifications. Chat messages can just disappear easily. And if I don't immediately mark it as important, I'm not going to remember to go back to it. Next, when I view all of the things I need to do at once, I can get very overwhelmed. As a project manager, I'm on hundreds of jobs and need to know what's happening at each stage. That can cause a lot of stress when you see hundreds of notifications at a time. And so I don't have a way to break down these tasks into manageable pieces. Lastly, I very easily lose focus in the afternoon and I do my best work in the mornings. If an important task comes in the afternoon, I'm most likely gonna procrastinate it to a time I can truly focus. Now, we're going to list all the different inputs we receive on a daily basis. I get multiple emails, chats, meeting notifications, etc. daily. That all has the chance to interrupt my focus and cause one of my triggers. So I started to determine the level of alerts I needed per task. For me, I do my best work when I have two alerts. I add a to-do to click up as a task or to my productivity dashboard. For you, it could even be a notebook or the notes app on your phone. I also need time on my calendar blocked for important tasks. That way I have a dedicated time to focus and complete a to-do. And this is where those methods I mentioned earlier come in handy. You're going to want to discover the methods that closely align with your headspace to help inform your guidelines. My method matches are time blocking and eat the frog because I like to put time on my calendar for tasks and I like to complete the most difficult tasks first thing in the morning. So what does that mean my guidelines look like? I immediately need to add my to-do to my dashboard. That way I have it tracked somewhere and can turn it on into a task later on. I always begin my day completing the hardest task first, and that's when I feel the most focused and refreshed and when I do my best work. Every Monday, I review all of my major time-consuming tasks that need heavy focus and block time on my calendar. That way I have planned out time, no one else can take it. And lastly, I plan my simple, non-critical tasks like timesheets or more administrative tasks for the afternoons. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the steps again so you can create your own guidelines. First, you're going to find the top three triggers to break your organizational habits. Then you want to identify or track the types and amounts of inputs you receive on a daily or even hourly basis. That's going to allow you to determine the level of alert or reminder you need to complete a task. And from there, you're going to make sure you're able to research and discover the method that fits your work style best. And lastly, after you gather all of this information about your personal productivity habits, you'll create your own rules and guidelines using ClickUp as the tool to level up your system. And this is where ClickUp enters the room. It has so many options, and while sometimes it can feel overwhelming, it's very adaptable to help you maintain your organization and productivity. So let me take you through a few features I use to help keep my system in check. These include ClickUp's calendar integrations that allow me to time block tasks on my calendar. When I'm on the go, and since I have an iPhone, I can easily create reminders or tasks in ClickUp via Siri and I've created a personal productivity dashboard to capture notes. For the calendar integration, you're gonna to wanna to start by syncing your calendar and ClickUp tasks. Once you've added a connection between the two, you can add tasks or subtasks to your ClickUp list. You'll wanna make sure you have a deadline or due date entered in any other applicable information. Then for a neat trick, we're gonna head over to our calendar, making sure we have a separate ClickUp calendar other than your regular one. This is gonna allow you to control your tasks a little more. You'll see those tasks as an all day event and you can click into your event and see more information plus a link to the ClickUp task. And now I'm gonna take time to edit my task to time block my calendar. You can change the time and date, add attendees, a description, a meet, and even change the calendar it's living on. This is, for all intents and purposes, a regular calendar event. And while I personally use Google Calendar, ClickUp can also link to external calendars like Apple and Outlook. 
Once your event is updated, you can pop it into the calendar for a nice little time block. Subsequently, this is going to update in ClickUp with a date and time for better tracking. Now, if I'm moving too fast, running errands, or not at my desk, and I need to add a quick reminder or task to ClickUp, I have the ability through Siri and my iPhone. I can ask Siri to add ClickUp presentation follow-up to my ClickUp and Zyflow task list, and a task or reminder, if you prefer, is going to be automatically added. This all helps us on the go for those unplanned tasks. For me specifically, it helps me manage my trigger of out of sight, out of mind. I can then go into ClickUp and the mobile app later on and edit further information like priorities, assignees, or even the due date. Lastly, my favorite feature I've built for myself is my productivity dashboard. Now, this is not supposed to replace the homepage, but be supplemental. And I hope in the future, even during today's event, we'll see some of those features incorporated. I created this dashboard because I needed a place to write down my thoughts, observations, and some personal to-dos that weren't necessarily needed for everyone to see on a project. Or I needed a quick place to jot down a reminder to create a task later on. As a project manager, I have to see the bird's eye view of hundreds of jobs at a time. So finding a way to organize and manage myself ultimately helps me manage my team's workloads so they can focus on doing their best work. My dashboard is created in a way where I can add the top three priorities for my day and see them front and center. This relates back to the most important task method and prioritizing the urgent tasks for the day. I also have a specific area for my to-dos per client or department that I'm able to check off as completed. I also pull in my most important weekly project priorities so I have a holistic view of everything coming my way. This dashboard can be highly personalized with all of the different widgets you can add. And one thing I've learned recently in the ease of adding a task and linking the information you need into this area. When I'm moving really fast and just don't have time to build out a full task, I can pop my reminder or to-do here, then select my to-do and make a task straight from the dashboard. This means I don't have to keep going into multiple different lists, and I can even assign team members, add due dates, and add hours. From here, I have a perfect little link to help keep myself on track and have better productivity. So what's next? Once you've found your guidelines and created your system, you need to put it through a filter. Is it easy to understand and explain to others? Is it easy to maintain and does it bypass your triggers? Does it minimize your time spent on clerical tasks that keep the system going? Does it account for and simplify both unplanned and planned tasks? This filter ensures you don't overcomplicate your system. An overcomplicated system is kind of like a New Year's resolution. You try really hard to follow your strict rules, but it just doesn't work with your brain or it's really easy to walk away from because of the stress. The filter shows you how to maintain and keep your system simple for longevity. Lastly, I'd like to leave you with a worksheet to help create your system. This sheet is going to help you identify your triggers and guide you into building your own personal system. There are areas for you to dive into each of the five steps and remember simplicity is best for longevity. Take a look and download it for future use. I want to thank everyone for joining today. Please feel free to reach out to me if you ever want to talk productivity and click up and feel free to download my deck for references and another dashboard example. I really hope you all have a lovely level up.